Okay, in this demonstration on a small five by seven canvas board, I am going to do a continuous line drawing study of these two objects. I think it's kind of nice if the objects relate. Um, they don't have to. So you could do fruit and veggies. I'm doing the fork and the spoon. Okay, so continuous line. I need to start at um, one point and keep going to the other. And I'm drawing with my finger here first, just to kind of map out, okay, I need to that, about that much space for my fork over to the side, and then I'll go over to spoon. So the idea when you're drawing is almost um, as if you're like an inchworm crawling along or tracing the outer edge of that object called contour drawing. I'm going to speed it up a little bit because, you know, for time's sake. Okay, so I'm going to start at the top. And remember, are studies. So if your objects end up looking a little funky, that's okay. And what I mean by that is like, you know, disproportionate. I am trying to sneak a little bit of drawing in here because it, it relates to painting, you know, painting is drawing with wet goopy stuff. Okay, so here I go. Not lifting my pen, committing to line, even if it, even if I don't love it. Okay, so now I'm going to angle down to here. Builds your hand-eye coordination. Okay, so now I can maybe start putting in some of those details. Okay, so here's what I got. Okay, simple. I got some crossing over shapes. Okay, now ahead of time, I did a little test. So the colors I'm going to use are a light phthalo blue, yellow ochre, Prussian for my base. I'll probably bring in some white. And so these are my mixtures here. I'll show you mixing them. These are all the colors I can get with just these three colors. So that's what I'll be exploring. And I might end up just for fun at the end, putting in a little pop of red. Okay, so here comes the brayer and I'll try and do, you know, and I'll try and do brush as well for those that are frustrated with the brayer. So open acrylic as, as your base color, I think is important because we're gonna wet that paint and manipulate it. So first I'll try a little brush. I'm not wetting it. Yeah, I think this would work best. You can, you can just brush that in. Great. Yep. That's but, dry brush, right? Yep, no water, okay. No no water. Here's brayer. So brayer, again, you go into your blob, you roll, I roll and lift from side to side, kind of lifting at the end, trying to get um, even distribution of paint. I 
I think the brush is fine because it doesn't really matter if it's, you know, completely um, even. It's actually more interesting if it's not. Okay. And I'm putting that in my water bucket so it doesn't um, dry on there. Okay, so now I'm going to do this erasing painting thing that I like. So what I'm going to do is um, wet, just with a wet brush, with the area where I want to lift the paint. Then I take, I like these Trader Joe's sort of, I don't know, it's a synthetic dishcloth that I cut up. Put that on top. Okay, it pulled up the paint, but it's kind of a small area. So let me do a bigger area. And then I blot it. And I, there we go. I pulled up the color and I get a nice um, solid shape. I'm gonna go in here. Another thing you can do is just blend the color and, and leave that as is. I'm gonna go ahead and blot it just so you can see it one more time. Okay, so pulling up shapes of color. Now I'm going to go ahead and do, I've got this light phthalo. Yellow ochre. So some of this I can put on straight and some of it I'm going to let it mix right here. So, And I'm using small brushes, flat and round. Okay, I'm going to put some on the spoon. My brush is slightly damp. I'm letting it, I'm swirling it there to mix it with that um, Prussian blue down below. And I'm really just focused, like Mirandi, I'm just focused on the shape. I don't even care that it's a spoon. I'm not trying to make it look like a spoon. Okay, I think, let's see. I think I'll go dark with for the fork. So that is Prussian blue added to my yellow ochre. Somebody needs to mute themselves, please. Okay, this requires a finer brush. I'm going to use this round brush. These don't take very long, but it's, it's a great way to get comfortable with drawing composition, abstracting, limited color palette, and then once you're comfortable, we can go into something bigger if you want. And it could be based on still life objects or it could be totally abstract. Okay, so I'm going with that and then I'm gonna put yellow ochre in here. And I'm just doing this kind of spontaneously. Okay. This is the slow drying medium. I need to, I just like that it kind of, uh, instead of water, kind of thickens it a little bit. Need to get some blending medium. Okay, so I'll put that in there.
and I'm going to paint the surround and I think I'm going to go with this um, lighter green here, which I mixed um, this light blue and this yellow ochre. It gets, kind of makes this pretty Sheladon color, which I love. I didn't add, just going with great thick paint, I didn't add any water, I don't think. So that is blending right there on the canvas, which I like, just letting that happen. And then if I wanted to lighten it up or make it darker, I can come back later and finesse that a little bit. Now I did add some water so I can come in a little bit closer to that black line and give it a little more definition. I can overlap if I want, get rid of the black line, it's a little more subtle. Okay, now I need a finer brush for these areas in there. Somebody needs to mute themselves, please. Okay, so I put this right in between there. And then I'm just going to take a wet brush and darken that background phthalo blue. Now I can play with, let's say I want to make the, the spoon, the paint thicker, like more um, impasto. Somebody still needs to mute themselves. I cannot leave and mute you while I'm recording. Please be respectful and, and do that. Well, it's not happening. Okay, finer brush to come in and please mute yourself. Okay, well, I'll almost be done. Okay, now I'm going to go darker here. And I'm not getting fussy about it being completely straight. 
has a little more character that way. Um, I'm going to go thicker with the yellow ochre. So I think you can see how you can keep adjusting. Like, I think I want to tone this down. So that'll be my last thing I'm, I'm going to do. going to push it more into the yellow ochre range. Add a little freshen. Okay. Please mute yourself. Everybody check their mute button. Somebody needs to mute. Okay, so now I told Judith, uh, I think I Judith might be using her phone and she's unmuted. Okay, well, I'm almost done. Okay, so. I think hopefully what you're going to learn with this is there's an elegance to really limiting your color palette and then picking this very simple design. There's more that I could obviously do, uh, but I am going to leave that for now. I could put in a, you know what? I lied, okay. We'll put in, I'm gonna mix a little bit of red because it's kind of a, greenish color palette, right? I'm going to mix a little bit of red with that. Damn. Okay. So I'm toning down the red and I'm thinking, right there and I could just for kicks right there. 